Right, so this one has a pretty good background story. Um, so I don't know how many of you are following Twitter. There's a, a Power Apps a Twitter user, uh, Brian Edwards. Um, I think he was uh, previously, he worked for Microsoft, and then he now runs his own consulting. Um, he started blogging about how do you leverage um, SharePoint document libraries that has pictures, you know, um, customers use document libraries not only for documents, but also for uh, storing images and building an image gallery, right? a pretty common scenario. And then that turned out to be a, a, a very complex thing to, you know, just read and show the images in, in uh, app, in Power Apps. Um, so, uh, people started doing this, and many companies started uh, wanting the scenario to work. And uh, when we started looking at, hey, what is the community doing? Boy, that was really hard. Uh, people were talking to Azure AD. People were doing some uh, hackery in uh, SharePoint APIs, trying to get the thumbnails, render list data as stream, um, a lot of stuff. So um, I got really frustrated being a product manager in this area. I was like, why is this so hard? So I went and started doing some stuff. Um, and then I realized uh, we actually have thumbnail support um, in Microsoft Graph. So if you use the Drive API, um, that is the Files API in Microsoft Graph, um, and you can get the thumbnail uh, of a particular item. And that drive could be your OneDrive, or that drive could be in SharePoint site. Um, and yes, for this, if you go and read the Graph REST API, you, it would be like you would have to go through graph.microsoft.com. So um, that is Microsoft Graph, but there's also another way to leverage these Microsoft Graph APIs within SharePoint using the new v2.0 endpoint. And so I continued my journey. I wrote a blog post. And with that, what I did was I used a flow and then used our HTTP uh, action in, in SharePoint. So here's the flow. Um, let me try to get here this. So I used the HTTP action in SharePoint connector and used the v2.0 endpoint and now started calling uh, the graph to get all of the details. So this is like you're building one by one. So you get the site details and then you can grab the JSON result in a, in a variable. Um, and then you get all the drives in that site, and then you filter that drive to a particular picture library that you are interested in. And then you use this awesome, complex, super powerful, robust API construction. Um, just take time. If you go to my blog, you can read this. Uh, even if you're not doing this right now, uh, it's a very good uh, primer for API construction, especially for graph. And with one call, I can get all of the thumbnails for a particular uh, file in SharePoint library. And then, you know, I can construct, and using Power Apps and Flow integration, I easily get that back. And boom, now I have a demo that looks like this, right? So get images, I click the button, and then that goes, runs the flow, and then brings the images back. Still. This is really complex. So I went ahead and told my engineering team, hey, this seems to be something that we already do in list and libraries. Why is it so hard? Why can't I get the thumbnail? Behold, the engineering team came back to me within a few weeks and said, we have this for you to go try it out. And then we ship the code right now. It's already in prod. So we can go through this complex step. I don't want to go through that. I want to go through the simple, super fast, efficient way to do this in Power Apps and Flow. So. Um, I'm going to connect to a document library. I'm going to start a new app. Um, I'm going to select my site. So one of the things Jack, you'll see Jack's, in Power Apps. Sorry, Jack, sorry for jumping in. Uh, let's let's use the full real estate of your screen because there's no point using just one third. Um, just the good. Yep. Yep. Um, just... So one of the things is we do support document libraries to some extent, um, at least uh, adding metadata. Uh, not uploading files. So if you do create an app or if you connect the data source, you just enter um, the document library name and then click connect, and that's going to connect to an existing document library in Power Apps. And now this is going to build the similar app how you would connect to a list, right? So I can go here. Um, I can change the title, for example, to show name. Um, and then I, I get a really good uh, view. But now I'm going to change the gallery to 
Um, sorry, this Skype thing is really bothering me <laughs> with all the uh, noise. Um, do you also hear the noise, Reza? It's really actually. I don't. I don't know. Uh, let's see if we have. Um, so I'm going to change this to image and title, right? So I get the title of the document, and then I have some image. Now I want to show the thumbnail of the document here, just like you would go see in your SharePoint. So I'm going to select this. Instead of sample image, now I'm going to say this item, because I'm in the gallery, dot. Now we get the thumbnail object. So thumbnail. And, and sorry, dot, Jackson, Now I can, can get do, the large, medium, and do, small thumbnails. Sorry, so Jackson. I select large. Boom. Now I get the preview of the thumbnail right there in my Power Apps. So it's really simple. No hackery, no flow, nothing. Now there are some files that we support. There are some files we don't support. Um, I was surprised to hear that um, we actually don't support Excel files for thumbnails. Um, so I'm, you know, figuring out uh, what actually uh, is going on there. But um, if you do have uh, basically uh, uh, an icon. So, for example, I can go to media, I can browse, and I can go and upload my Excel icon right to my Power App. So I've collect, I'm up, I've updated in the media. I go back. Now I can write a simple uh, expression. So instead of this dot thumbnail dot large, if I write uh, an expression that says if ends with this item dot file name with ex extensions. Name with extension will give me the file name dot docx or xlsx and things like that. And I'm going to say um, display the Excel image that I just uploaded in my uh, media or use the large. So now you can see I have the thumbnail uh, for the Excel icon as well. So this is really, really simple way to access thumbnails. I'll go even further. Um, if you do have an image library, uh, which is full of images, um, you can easily do that as well. So here is a gallery. Um, all I'm going to do now here is do the same step. I'm going to add the data source. Now I'll be able to choose my SharePoint connection. Um, now I'll go through the same wizard I did, like uh, creating a new app. I'm going to select the site. And now again here, it's not going to show me uh, the list of uh, the, the document libraries in the site, but rather I can just type in and say pictures and then click connect. And now that's going to connect. And now it won't add the image thumbnail automatically. So I'm going to go do this, this item dot thumbnail dot large. And now suddenly I got a really good um, photo viewer uh, images coming from SharePoint. Now, these are self-authenticated URLs, so they are good for, they usually have an expiry, I think, uh, a week or two. Um, I'm trying to figure out the right uh, expiry date on these uh, URLs. Um, but every time you load the app, they're going to be refreshed, and you're going to get that. Uh, it works in mobile as well, so you don't really have to be, um, you know, sometimes what happens, some solutions, they work in the web because they're authenticated. In the mobile, they don't, but this solution works in mobile as well. Um, so this, this is using and accessing the thumbnails in Power Apps. So in Flow, it's the same thing. So here's a flow I created um, in a library. Uh, that is the default documents library for this library here. I can go to my flow. So it's a very simple flow. When a file is created, send an email. So here I'm going to say, oh, here's a file that you added, and here's a preview. So now if you go to the dynamic content and search for thumbnail, you get the three properties just like you saw in the Power Apps, thumbnail large, medium, and small. So I'm going to put thumbnail large here and then just format um, so it doesn't look weird. And that's it. So now I'm going to save this. And now I'm going to go to my document library, upload a document. So I'm uploading a PDF here. And now we should soon see this flow run. There it is. It succeeded. And I got a mail. And here it is. Um, so you can see that this is just a URL, a typical uh, demo failure here. But I wouldn't say it's a failure. I'm just, I was just going to show you this is really a URL. So there it is. 
Um, so what I'm going to do here, image source, that's it. Now I'm going to test, use data from previous ones, succeeded. I love this test flow. Um, if you're not using it or haven't tried it out, this is really cool. So now I can test it. It's going to run with the same data that I that it had previously. And now I am probably get an email with the thumbnail. Ooh, there it is. How cool is that? Now we can actually give some meaningful information to the user and not just a link and say, hey, go visit this thing, go visit this uh, document or open this document. And one of the cool things is that because this is out of the box thumbnail that exactly used in SharePoint and OneDrive, it supports all of the file format. So if you didn't notice here, this is actually an Adobe Illustrator file. This is not uh, a, a doc or office document. Um, and if you had seen in my Power App, um, if you go look at the name, Demo Quadro Vector Blue. So Demo Quadro Vector Blue. Here's a preview thumbnail of that Adobe Illustrator file. So that's the beauty of this solution. It integrates exactly the same way as how we integrate and get these thumbnails, previews, and document libraries. So that was my demo for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the demo, and if you have any questions, uh, this should be available in your tenants uh, because it's all code, it's rolled out. Um, use it and let us know what you think and what other stuff that we can do. We do listen for feedback. Here's a very good example. Um, of course, uploading documents, uh, for example, is something that we're working, uploading pictures, um, and also having support for document libraries, custom forms, and direct app support is something that we are working this year. So we'll, you'll see iterative improvements in those areas as we progress in this year.